It's so hard to say goodbye to Jake means war. This means war. My triggering mechanism stuck. Oh my god. Ready PG-13. Hey everybody, welcome to the last episode of Jake Means War, or as I secretly call it, the Bachelor Recapsular. As always, I'm Jake Pavelka. Tonight's episode of The Bachelor started with, you guessed it, a helicopter ride. But hold the phone, it doesn't end how you would think. They jumped out of a helicopter. <laughs> oh God. I added that shark myself, because I wished it had happened. Anyway, Ben and Lindsay capped off their one-on-one -on -one by sending a message in a bottle out to sea. We found that bottle, and here's the message that was inside. It looks like Ben holding hands with Chris Harrison. These guys are better buds than I thought. You know, the Mayans thought 2012 would be the end of the world. Instead, it was just the beginning of a lame date between Courtney and Ben. I guess the first sign of the apocalypse is two morons climbing all over their most sacred temple. Is this where they do the human sacrifices? It very well could be. Ugh, this tastes weird. I think there's... Something in my drink. It's a clip for This Means War. That clip reminds me that love isn't easy. I can be pretty hard on Ben. Maybe I need to get to know the guy a little better. Well, here's Ben via satellite. Are you there, Ben? You're enjoying yourself down there in Belize, aren't you? You know who you're going to give that rose to? Well, good. Let's see the rose, Ben. That, that's, uh, that's a bottle, Ben. Oh, brother. You're not the brightest bulb, are you? In transmission. People that are smart don't. And with that, we bring it close to Jake Means War. Remember to see This Means War in theaters this Friday, February 17th. I give it to Pavelka's Up. I loved it. Jake Means War got weird. Good night, everybody. I'm leaving. Now I'm leaving. Hello? Hello?